the, this is crypto business. We're trying to make your crypto business not such a freaking mess. And with that, we're going to get into this Bitcoin mania right now. Everybody, ah, it's minus 7.77%. To me, that's lucky. That's a lucky number, 7.77. That's triple seven, baby. But what I want to get to is this chart. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up this chart and I'm going to show you. This is a, in my opinion, a more, it's more geared towards the stock market, but I do think that there are some similarities and some things that the average investor should be looking out for, right? And this is all going to be in your own opinion. Like you're going to have to make these calls for yourself um, because I don't, I don't know the future. Obviously, I don't know what's going to happen, but I can look at support lines. Um, I can look at, at my my own research and I can sort of tell where I think this thing is going. Everybody and their mom thinks that Bitcoin right now is going to crash and go to zero. Like last night I stayed up very late watching Bloomberg television and they're all sitting there saying, Bitcoin, the bubbles popped, it's over. Everybody run for the hills. Pull out your money so you can buy your Christmas presents and not have to be in debt and all this stuff. Now, let's pump the brakes a little bit here. Like, let's look at the fundamentals. Like, that's that's the dumb money talking. And I wish this chart had dumb money somewhere because it should be, like, right around here. And this greed and delusion, this is all dumb money. So we'll look at the chart again. We'll look back at all time. Okay. Okay. So... In May of 2013, we're sitting at about $100 a coin for Bitcoin. We're riding it out, riding it out. Fluctuations, very, very subtle or subtle uh, fluctuations here. We're, we're, we're warming up here. All of a sudden, boom, we hit this parabolic curve. We're going to hit about $1,200 a share. And it's not a share, it's a coin. That, that leaves you with a market cap of about $13 billion back Sunday, December 1st of 2013. One Bitcoin was $1,122. Let's look back here. Smart money gets involved. Very, very subtle. You know, nothing, nothing's really happening. All of a sudden, boom, we hit takeoff. We go up $1,122. And then all of a sudden we have our first sell off. Boom. It drops down into a bear trap. And this bear trap, this, this graph is not like this axis right here. The X axis is not representative of how long it actually takes. But I do feel that this graph is somewhat representative of what could be happening in the Bitcoin market. So we're, we hit this bear trap in about, when was this? 2013, December 20th, which, hey, guys, guess where we are right now? December 22nd. It's at 6.09. We're, December 22nd, 2013, we hit a bear trap. Where are we right now? December 22nd. Oh, I was just there. It was just on it. 2017. And guess where we're at? A bear trap, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe that? So... We'll, we'll keep we'll keep going from from day one all right we're at a bear trap here all of a sudden it's going it's going we're in the bear market this was a very very long bear market because there was not mass adoption there was no media attention there was nothing and that's because this technology was so freaking new back in 2013 2014 2015 Everybody thought, and there was a lot of bad news. There was the Silk Road. There was all this stuff going on. Like, and not only that, but there was not as much internet adoption as you guys might think back in this day and age. So it keeps going into this bear trend. And then all of a sudden, it starts creeping up. 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, a thousand dollars a coin. Oh no, now we're getting, a, oh, okay, we're going a little bit parabolic here, 2,000. Okay, eh, classic market, market correction, boom, back to maybe 1,000, whatever. 
we'll go back here. Those fluctuations are not quite represented in this chart, but at some point we get to this enthusiasm, this greed, this public adoption, right? Which is right about in here. And we're getting to this greed seventh at like 20 August. Let's go back to the beginning of 2017. The beginning of 2017 is way back here. And you're sitting at 800. It's, it's less than that, but. Oh yeah, January 1st, $973, something like that. Boom, you're running up and you're just all of a sudden media attention. The public is getting involved. Your freaking great aunt, grandma, fourth removed cousin is talking about it at Christmas and, and Thanksgiving saying, I have 15 bitcoins. I'm the richest person in the world. And then all of a sudden you keep going, you keep going. Oh my God, it goes parabolic. Hey, does this look familiar? When your great grandmother is in freaking Bitcoin, a little bit of greed is going on. Somebody is a little bit delusional. Now, I'm not saying that Bitcoin is not worth $20,000 a coin, but when it goes parabolic like this, it is necessary, vitally necessary for the coin, for the market itself to correct. Because once it goes parabolic like this, people start jumping in thinking it's going to continue to go parabolic like this. Everybody knows who's been a stock investor, real estate investor, uh, small business, whatever you're doing in business, markets do not work like this. They do not go parabolic for eternity. They don't. Now, I think Bitcoin has a very high percentage chance of going parabolic again in the future and getting to 100K a coin. But there needs to be a correction to pump the brakes a little bit. And that's a good thing because imagine if it kept going up to 50K, 100K in, in the span of two months then all of those people who are buying in at 100K and say there is a correction, the correction would be far worse than what it is today. We went from 20K to, what's it at right now? To $14,600. Okay, big deal. You, if you're one of those investors who invested in at $19,000, like, I don't blame you. Um, especially if you're not experienced in the space and you are not looking at these charts and, and you're not doing, you, you haven't gone through some sort of Fibonacci training session or whatever, like it's, it says right down here, Fibonacci training session. Or you don't know what trend lines are. You don't even know what these are called, the candlesticks. Like if you haven't done that, I don't blame you for buying at $19,000. But that's greed. Like that... That is this, this delusion. That's, it's I'm not saying you can't win by buying up here because in my opinion, it'll go a lot higher. Like it'll probably go to 50K, 100K, like a, you'll 4X your growth, but you can't, you can't expect to make that in two months. Like this is not possible. So, and well, it's not that it's not possible because it's already happened. We went parabolic once, but here we are, the Bitcoin. Let's go to the seven day, maybe the one month. And we got up here. Come on. So we got up here. 19, 18, 19, Boom, we start dropping. Okay, we start dropping. And it is possible. And this is why I'm making this video because it is possible that we entered the bull trap. And we're down here right now, which looks very similar we're down here at this bull trap at about 14,000, somewhere in here. And now we're, we're leveling off at about, yeah, it got all the way down to about 11,000. Then we're, we're leveling off about 14K. And if you look at this, hey, maybe we're returning to normal. And the reason of this video, the purpose is there are two possibilities that could happen. One, we do return to normal. And this graph goes away, like none of this matters. And we return to normal and it kind of stabilizes here. 
And then over the new year, and it kind of creeps up. Or maybe it goes in the moon and just fucking flies up. But it's possible, and this is why I'm making this video, is because I want people to be aware. It's possible that this return to normal is actually just a bull trap. And we may see the price of Bitcoin over the next two or three weeks drop down. And I don't personally believe, because I think this chart was made more for the stock market, which is where I'm more accustomed to. But I think with the Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency markets, I think that we will see it. it it's possible that we could see it drop to 10K. And if it continues to drop, I think there's a support line at 8K. And if it somehow the bulls don't come out of the woodwork at 8K, I think that the support will ultimately rise at the 5K line. And then I don't think we'll see this ultimate despair line being lower than the takeoff line. Like that's a bit ridiculous to me because of the underlying technology around surrounding Bitcoin and the market in general. Um, there's just not enough money if, in this space yet for it to do something so dramatic. If, if I go back, you can see there's only $514 billion invested into the cryptocurrency market. Um, when you compare that to the NASDAQ, which is valued around $11 trillion, I just don't see there being such a large sell-off that would reflect something like this where like for example what happened in 2001 with the dot-com bubble uh the dot-com bubble the nasdaq reached six trillion dollars uh in 2001 and that is a six-fold time or, or six x market cap of what the cryptocurrency market is at right now like we're at half a trillion whereas in 2001, the NASDAQ was at $6 trillion, And right now, the NASDAQ is at $11 trillion market cap. So to me, this doesn't quite depict what could happen. But if we get down to 8 k uh, $5K, I will be buying a lot of Bitcoin. And uh, I already have limit orders set in. And then if we end up returning to normal and the normal is about 14,000, then I will also continue to be buying and I will just be dollar cost averaging my investment and I am long on Bitcoin. So I think Bitcoin will continue to rise for a while. So with that, I don't think it's really a big problem. Like I don't think any of us really need to worry if you bought at 19 K and you're all scared because it's now at 14k then you probably shouldn't have bought a 19k like if that's money that you need and you're so scared then you're the wrong kind of investor for the market in the first place so it's the same with stocks like people get so pissed off when their stock loses but that's the stock market like it's worth what people are going to pay for it and right now people are going to pay 14k for a coin and I'm long on it, so I think in the future when the value proposition meets more people in the economy, I think that people will be more likely to pay more money for Bitcoin. And and same goes for altcoins. And I'm not saying that certain things aren't delusional right now. There are certain uh, altcoins that are completely delusional. But you need to take things into account and you need to learn to read charts and read these graphs and come up with your trend lines and and make educated decisions. And I will make videos about this in the upcoming videos so you guys aren't stuck in, like aren't stuck not knowing anything. But with that, please, please comment, subscribe, do your thing in the comments. Let me know what you want me to make a video on next. With that, I'll catch you in the next one.